Hey guys, this is Chandra and I'm going to do a tutorial on a page. I don't have it um, put together yet. I mean, I have the page put together, but I don't have um, paper, de decorative paper on it yet. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do this. You'll see the, you'll end up seeing the album before you see this, but this page is not decorated. That's basically my point. Okay, so this is a six by eight page and um, it's just a simple page that opens up like this. There's a pocket right here. Then you have the pocket for the actual page. I flip it over, it has a flap and um, then it has a pocket right here. Okay, so we're going to be making that page now. Um, making an album for a friend for her daughter's graduation. So. I wanted to uh, be doing two of these at the same time. So for the base pages, you need six sheets that measure six by eight, six that measure six by nine. Okay. So you're going to take the six by nine sheet, stick it in the scoreboard so that the nine inch side is at the top. You're going to score it half an inch and then eight and a half. And this is um, what you're going to use uh, to create your pocket. The second sheet, which measures six by eight, you're not going to score or anything. Okay. And then we're going to need an eight by 11 sheet. Okay. And we're going to stick it so the 11 inch side is at the top and we're going to score at four and a half inches. And then again at 10 and a half inches. And again, you need six of those. Then you're going to need a pocket for the front of that page. Um, and I got paper all over. I don't know where I'm going here. But you're going to need a piece that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. So you're going to score it at half an inch on three sides. So on the five and a half inch side, you're going to score it half an inch and then at five. And then you're going to rotate it once and score it half an inch. And this is going to create the pocket. So again, you want six of all these. I'm only showing you one right here. Then you're going to need a um, pocket for the back page, and that measures seven by four and three quarters. So you're going to stick it into the seven inch side, it's going across the top. You're going to score at half an inch, and then at six and a half, rotate it, and then score at half an inch. And then you're going to need a sheet that measures six by five and a half and you're going to score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch okay and again i'm only making one page with you right now okay so we're going to take the six by nine sheet and fold on our score marks and i'm just burnishing my fold because i want it to be straight and crisp now i'm going to use score tape I'm going to put a piece of score tape on each one of these flaps while they're folded. I'm just pressing down to make sure that there's um, adhesion. I'm going to take off the score tape. I'm going to take the 6 by 8 sheet. I'm going to line it up so that it's level across the top and one side. And then take off the tape backing from the bottom and put it it down. So this is going to create my base page. This is where the hinge is going to go and this is where my tags go in the front. So the next thing we need to do is create the page flap on the front. So we're taking our 8 by 11 inch sheet and we have this half inch score mark. We're going to burnish and then we're going to fold this so here's a half inch mark fold it in and I'm folding this over making sure it's straight on the bottom and just pressing up so that it's straight this piece is actually going to go like this okay so I'm going to unfold that flap that we made that half inch mark I'm going to put my score tape on there I am going to snip off the corners here so that it is hidden after we mat it I'm going to take off the tape backing. I'm going to flip my page to the side. So here's, you know, the opening, obviously. I'm going to line this folded edge up to the cut edge of this paper here. Okay. So now it opens like this, and then it opens like this, because this side is the binding. Now we're going to put that little pocket on the front. 
And that's where the five and a half by four and a quarter piece. I'm gonna move this to the side. We're gonna fold on our score marks. Okay, now I'm going to place tape on those half inch marks. I call them flaps because, you know, that's what they are. And now there's a square that's created when you fold them. I'm gonna cut out that square. So I'm just gonna go at an angle this way till it reaches the point there. And I'm gonna go in at an angle the other way till it reaches that point. And I'm gonna cut that off on the bottoms, bottoms, the bottom. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off the tape backing. I like to fold my sides down first and then flip my bottom up so that way when I stick a tag in, the tag's not getting stuck on this. I'm going to just place it on the front, lining up against the sides and the bottom, and I'm just going to finish it down. Now on the back, we have a large pocket on the bottom and then the flap on the top. So I am going to take this six, no, the seven by four and three quarters. I'm going to do just like I just did with that other pocket. And of course you could use wet glue. You can even use um, score tape or um, ATG tape, but it's just not going to stick as well for as long. Um, so you want a good adhesive, whatever you like. Wet glue is fine. So again, I'm going to take off the tape backing. I'm going to fold my sides down and my bottom up. And then I'm just going to put it on the bottom of my page. Now, on my um, piece that I showed you, I used this border punch here, which I'm going to use on this one as well along the bottom. So here's my half inch score mark and here's the bottom of the flap. So I'm just going to put my border punch in there and I'm going to just kind of center it a little bit just so that point's kind of in the center. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to fold. Um, I'm going to unfold it so that I can put my adhesive on there. And I am going to chop off the corners here. And I'm just going to put it, line it up against the top and the side. If when I flip it over, if it goes over the side, I can always just trim that part off, okay? You just want to be careful that you don't trim into your pockets anywhere. So again, here's the page. There's a pocket here. It opens up this way, and then it opens up that way. You flip it over, and it has a flap here and the pocket here. So this is my mini album, which I do not have a name for, but I am going to name it something sweet, but not sweet. Okay. Thanks guys.